How's everybody doing? What a real privilege it is uh, to be here in the Republican Party headquarters. When Martha and I moved back to Arkansas in 1993, the Republican Party didn't have a nice headquarters like this. We have this headquarters. We have these constitutional officers in our state. We have all six of our federal delegation because of all of you and the citizens that want the most conservative choice leading them in this country. And so I want to say thank you to all the Republicans from many generations back. I see Secretary of State uh, now, Treasurer Thurman, back there. How are you, Thurston? Way in the back. I just want to say for all of you who have worked so hard for our party, it's another night where we can celebrate together. And so Martha and I want to start out by saying thank you for all the volunteer hours, all the political contributions, all the faith in our political process that we can elect good leaders that will help drive our state forward in the right direction. You know, 60 years ago in 1964, President Reagan gave his amazing speech during the Goldwater Johnson campaign, A Time for Choosing. And every four years we think about the importance of our country to coming together in a presidential election. And once again, America has come together with that idea that we are the last best hope for our earth. Because America is an idea. It's not a place. It's not a thing. And I'm always reminded by that same president, then 40 years later, President Reagan, when he talked about in his farewell speech that you could move to America from any place in the world and you would be an American. If I move to Japan, I'll never be Japanese. If I move to Germany, I'll never be German. But any person from any place in the world can come to this country and become an American. And what an amazing premise. And that is the fact that our country is an idea. And that idea is carried on by the people who work in this country, who work in this state. And so we have our own time for choosing in politics every few years. And we've made that choice tonight here in Arkansas. And I'm so proud to be able to represent this great central Arkansas area for another two years in the United States House of Representatives. As we go back to Washington, we've heard the message loud and clear. Take actions that reduce the punishing taxation on the American people from the worst tax of all, inflation because we don't get to vote for inflation. We don't get to debate inflation. Inflation's brought about by bad policy. Whether it's too much spending by the Biden-Harris administration or bad policies at the Federal Reserve, it crushes and hammers the American people. So that's the first thing I've heard in this campaign. Secondly, what about public safety and what about a secure border on the Southwest? So we are going to secure the border when Congress comes back in session. And finally, and maybe most importantly, and maybe in a confused way around our country, is that we don't send a mixed message to America's allies abroad, like Israel, or America's adversaries abroad, like Russia, Iran, the terrorist community, China, North Korea. The Biden-Harris administration has been sending that mixed message. We want to send a firm conviction. We stand with our friends and we stand against our foes. So, so let me first thank uh, our family, my sweet bride. Payne Hill was here. Where's Payne Hill? He's in the back. <laughs> Uh, so proud of pain. Dr. Liza Hill is not here tonight. She's busy delivering babies uh, at her OBGYN residency at the University of Alabama, Birmingham. We wish she was with us. But we're so proud of our kids, and they've been with us this whole journey. So first, I say thank you to the support uh, I get from my family and the mission that I have, and every political person 
has to balance that on a regular basis. Secondly, Judith Goodson, my campaign chair, Warren Stevens, my finance chair, Drew Martin, my campaign manager, Ashley Wells, my finance uh, director, uh, Brooke Bennett, my chief of staff, Missy Rickles, who's been such a great help, Colonel Todd's down here in front, who's been <laughs> such a leader for veterans and, and supporting of my work, and everyone who's made uh, our campaign work, uh, and everybody who's made the district committee and district staff work. Because we are a reflection of what constituents have to say about our offices, right? Whether you're a county judge, a party chairman, uh, a state treasurer, state uh, land commissioner, state secretary of state, in every one of those instances, we have an obligation to deliver for the people who elect us. And so I can't say enough nice things about our district staff over the past decade. Ashley Jumdi, who was district director, Jeff Pitchford, current district director, everyone who's worked on that staff, every day they get up and say, how can I deliver a puzzle solving for a constituent? Whether it's the $83 million we've gotten back for veterans, <laughs> poor, poor Maha Worthington who doesn't want her name mentioned in public because someone at 1030 tonight will text me saying they don't have their passport and they need to leave tomorrow or Hunter Sadler for the IRS or Reagan Sharp on a grant or uh, anything else that comes before our office. We're there for our constituents and all of you need to know, all you have to do is just reach out at hill.house.gov or as Tim Griffin might do, and I'm not going to give his cell phone number, number. I'll give you mine, 501-580-4297. We're here for you. Thank you for supporting me. I'm proud to represent you for two more years. Yeah.